Hello everyone and welcome to Raven's World and welcome to my let's play of Caves of Kurt. So we arrived at Grid's Gate. So let's see if we can get in. Oh, there's someone that doesn't like us. Um, and if someone... Oh! Spark ticks. So much stuff. Burn capacitors. I'm auto getting them all. I'm gonna take it a bit safer. I want to get surrounded. I hope the way droids are still okay with me if they're in my spores. They might not care about my spores though. The slug snout hits. Well, I'm gonna go up here because that is a lot of damage that I'm getting there. Because I also can't see anything with those. Oh, there's a spark tick under me. Um, it's somewhere there, I guess. Jewel encrusted no warm skull. Nice. Yeah, let's take it. Where is that? Where is it? I thought they were coming from here, the bullets. Hmm. Ooh, our mind just got sundered. It's getting a bit dangerous here. We're a bit hungry. Can't cook with hostiles nearby, that's fair enough. Let us go up. Perfect. And then I would also like to preserve my food. Get more star apple jam. So now we have a bit more regeneration, which will hopefully help us out a bit here. These are electrofuge, not just spark ticks. Um, silver nugget, I'll take it. Shooting them a bit. Yay, level 102 skill points. That might be quite nice. Um, so now we have 198 remaining. So when we charge and we hit, we automatically daze. So then if we conk... Oh no, they have to be stunned, not dazed, of course. Then if we hit someone who's dazed, they get stunned. Yes. And they don't have any dodge value, which is quite nice. Actually, so I guess agility is not necessarily the best thing here because you're trying to get the enemies not to dodge anymore. And then you don't necessarily need so much to hit probably. But um, let's take charging strike. Oh, 
nice wall here. All right, let us... <laughs> the law enforcement card we picked up helps here. That's quite nice. Locate the Barathromite Conclave at Grid's Gate. I can't remember me fighting through a dungeon last time I was at Grid's Gate, but maybe I'm I'm wrong. I thought I there got the quest to go to Golgotha. But it's been a while, so... I can of course be completely thinking wrong about this. <laughs> he left a chair. Ah, oh, now this chair is gone. Strange tubes. Actually, we have a fair amount of new things. Maybe I'll leave them and we could potentially take like tinkering or something like that in order to better understand what we found and not risk um, accidentally ruining them. Spark takes Scutum. Yes, I'll go one down one level. There's a bear. It's stunned. A critical hit. It falls asleep. <laughs> nice. Hit it so hard it falls asleep. Oy, but there I got again sundered. Sandals of the River Wives. Plus five movement speed. Interesting. I think I'd rather have to dodge though. We let's go back a bit and <laughs> let the droid take care of things while I'm being surrounded from this side here. The way droid is taking damage from my spores. I'm going to move a bit more this way because otherwise I'm going to get surrounded. The slug snout. Oh, so that's the slug snout. I somehow imagined it was something that was shooting at me, but maybe I was just misinterpreting what the screen was doing. I thought I had some bullets coming at me last time. That's definitely one of my complaints for Caves of Cut. It's still not like that clear what's happening. Uh, the art direction is fantastic, but it's not always clear. Like when you miss someone on the enemy, you see instead of that heart, you see like a ring and stuff like that. That's quite nicely done. But yeah, I, I think I would like a little bit more information somehow. Like for example, the fact that they're dazed or stunned, I think they kind of blink blue. But there's a difference between dazed and stunned, and I'm not sure if that's visually apparent or whether you then need to look at them. Yeah, see now it's dazed here, but when you look in the left, it just says that it's injured. Like if they could just add the dazed there, that would be really useful already.
A willowy steel battle axe. Uh -huh. Droid. Oh, you can fight each other. That's fine. Oh. It's a dangerous place here. I'm carrying too much. Fair enough. Let's have a look at what we are carrying. We're carrying a Gershling Corp still for 30. So let's drop that. That already helps. Um, we're carrying lots of torches. Carrying <laughs> lots of pump shotguns. I would like to sell those though. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it for the, like this for now in the hope that we'll find a trader. Oh, he just threw a grenade. I'm frozen solid. Okay, then I will... I think use the blaze injector. We've got two of them. And then punish him for ever throwing that grenade. Here we go. Um, can we look at that? Bloody frozen giant centipede corpse. Hey, now I'm on fire. Much better. Still a bit confused on what's happening here though. Uh, weird artifacts, sure. These spores make everything very hard to <laughs> interpret. chest with an ape fur cloak nice that actually gives me more dodge oh the banner actually also gives me more dodge this gives me more cold resist but less re uh, reputation with apes but that's fine Eyeless crabs, I, I have bad memories of those. This seems to be going well, nice. Spike gauntlet, here we go. I think they should give us more damage, but now our hands are Unfortunately, I'm not doing so well. Um, let us drop some torches. Torch.
What's the difference? Doesn't really say anything. Huh. Um well let's drop one of these. Then we at least have a little bit more weight again. But I would like to find a trader. Problem is I don't know how deep this dungeon is. Experience is good though. Yay! Another level. More hit points. Could go out of the screen, but I don't want to. Hmm. Where haven't we been yet? Well, here's some enemies, but... Ooh, treasure! Ah, oh, they cracked my cloth overalls. I think I just sold the rest of my armor. And I just cracked, but apparently it doesn't matter. Hm. Oops. There's a chest. Chest, chest, chest. Chest. Here we go. Drop it. Guess I could place that chest somewhere, put my items in it, and come back for them later. So this seems to be the end of this dungeon. Except that here's kind of a big hallway. Where does that go? Aha! That goes exactly where we need to go. 250 experience for finding the Barathermite Conclave. Perfect. Yeah, this is what I remember. Uh, ouch, the way is blocked by the communications panel and the slot opens from the center of the door and a metal tray slides out place the disc in the tray so it seems that you're indeed Argive's apprentice. He wishes you to study with us. Unfortunately, we require more than a willing spirit. Cut is not Joppa. You will need to prove your worth, that you might not waste our time and efforts. Travel to the great cavern Golgotha to the north. Within its halls, you will find a cache of dysfunctional way droids. Recover one, repair it, and return it here. If we are satisfied with your work, you will be admitted to our order. Otherwise, you will not be. Do you accept this arrangement? Yes, I do. Couldn't I go in there last time? Oh, didn't I have that item for that? The scrambling... Scrambling thing? Mm -mm -mm. No, I guess not. So we'll just have to go to Golgotha. Um, what I'm thinking though is I might actually use that... I have this chem cell that's full or the solar cell that's full actually and put that in the... Um, in the where are you the Joppa recoiler uh, replace cell the solar cell and then activate it then I am back in Joppa and I can trade with uh, this guy here make some money 
because we have a lot of stuff we want to get rid of. So this 21 worth jewel encrusted no worm skull. Uh, can get rid of this. Might as well get rid of the banner. Um, these weird artifacts are worth a lot. Um, get rid of this and this and this. The security card is also worth a ton. Well, maybe I'll keep one shotgun in case I run out of slugs and I can still use shotgun. And the combat shotgun is worth more than a pump shotgun. Not entirely sure why, but... Uh, I think I'll also just get rid of this. I guess we can always buy it back if needed. Um, lots of bracelets. Haha. <laughs> 300. Okay, let's see if he has something nice for us. Carbide hammer. A plastic tree. Could buy more water skins. It's probably going to be too heavy though, but let's see. Two ninety nine out of three sixty. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, I guess our artifacts are probably fairly heavy. There's one heavy one in there. Um, how are our skills here? Two hundred skill points remaining. Mm, tinkering. Gadget inspector here. Yeah, one hundred skill points. Let's take that. Um. Yes. And then we can have a look at all our artifacts. Hover sled. I've never had that. Okay, that's cool. A toboggan repels above the ground and gently rocks on an ethereal wave. It's encircled by a corona of wafting dust. Okay, cool. Metal folding chair. Thermal grenade. Ganglionic teleprojector. Okay. <laughs> no idea what these things do, but it's going to be awesome. Um, the vibro dagger. Oh, that might be worth a lot of money. Chain pistol. Bounding boots. Gaslight Chris. Alright, so I think Yes, this one goes here. But what does it do? <laughs> Maybe it's an ability we get then? Mm, no. Floating nearby, our hover sled. What does it do? I have no idea. Does it maybe increase our inventory space? Because it's a sled. No, it doesn't. Oh, here, wait, minus 50 LBS. Aha, uh -huh, cool. So we do kind of get more to carry. Uh, it's just uh, the other way around. So now we it looks like we're carrying way less than we actually are because it's all on our sled. That is awesome. That's also the only thing we have. What's that zombie game? Also a roguelike where you can get like a shopping cart and stuff like that and put stuff in there. And if it's too small, it falls through. It's really great. Uh, we have thrown grenades. Well, I'll take those when I need to. 
Well, maybe I can just do like this. Yeah, I have no idea what, what this is. Ah, here. Some clever tinker has fitted a spring-loaded tendon around each of these boots to mimic the gait of a large sprinting bird. As long as you have worn this item for at least 100 rounds, you sprint at thrice your movement speed. Plus 15 movement speed. That is quite nice. Perfect. And then I just want to know what the chair does. Uh, probably nothing at all. Uh, metal folding chair. Equip. It's in my left hand. So I can, I guess I can hit things with it. Oh, metal tubes. Weird, 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 but awesome. We have a hover sled, which is awesome. It will help us move quicker. Nice, so we have some artifacts now, and now it's time to go to Golgotha and hopefully not die there. Um, we've been playing for 26 minutes, so I think I'll put the episode to a close here, and then next time we'll just immediately go to Golgotha. So I hope you had fun, and see you next time.